Hello everyone! If you're planning a SharePoint migration and feeling a bit lost, you're in the right place. After this video, you will know everything you need for a successful migration. The biggest file size you can migrate is 250GB. When moving files from one cloud to another, the limit is 15GB per file. In SharePoint, you usually get 1TB of storage, plus an extra 10GB for each user with a license. Before starting your migration, make sure you have enough space, as Teams also uses some of that storage. SharePoint Online and OneDrive have a 256 character limit for file paths on Windows. If you go over this limit, you will get an error when trying to open or edit files. My tip, keep in mind that the synced file in SharePoint will be in a folder like this. This will make the path longer after migration. It's smart to check path lengths before you start migrating. That way you have time to ask teams to shorten them if needed. Create more libraries at the top level instead of building deep folder structures in one library. Keep it wide, not deep. If you migrate in the evening, at night or on the weekend, Microsoft will provide faster speeds. This is also a good time for most migrations to avoid disrupting the business. Remember, larger files move faster than lots of small ones. I suggest doing a pre-migration a few weeks before the official migration. When the final migration day comes, you can just run the previous created tasks again. And in my experience, it's much faster the second time. Another advantage of pre-migration is that you can give the customer a sneak peek of how everything will look and work. If you have more than 100,000 items in a single library, you might run into several problems. To avoid this, I recommend keeping libraries under 30,000 items. It's better to have more libraries than to overfill one. When syncing SharePoint libraries with File Explorer, be careful not to exceed 300,000 items. This limit applies to all synced locations combined. Going beyond this number can cause performance issues. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful to you, please leave a like or a comment. If you hit the subscribe button, I would be very happy and grateful. Bye.